Here it is, poetry in motion. Welcome to Loser in Portugal for the final two races in this year's Mercedes-Benz UCI Downhill World Cup. Now this is going to be a very special venue for more than one reason. It's the first time there's ever been a World Cup race here. But a lot of the riders in the past have raced Portuguese Cup races here, European Championships, so a lot of riders have seen it. The course is a wild one. It's one of those tracks that has a bit of everything on it, you know? And it's difficult, like it's rough. You know, it's physical at the start, fast turns, not much traction. And then it gets steep, and then you've got a pedal, and then it's steep again. So it's just challenging, like the technical side is challenging, the physical side is challenging, a bit of everything. The bottom part is so physical, and the top part too. And in between, you have to be focused to hit your line, so Insane. <laughs> Boris Berger is undoubtedly the man to beat in 2020. He comes here as the series leader after winning both World Cup races in Maribor. On top of that, he took more points by winning the qualifier here in Loser for World Cup 1. And without a doubt, he is now the big favourite to take this year's overall World Cup title. In the women's category, things couldn't be any different with a leader's jersey changing hands between every single timed run. After every qualifier, every World Cup race, someone else has taken the leader's jersey. But Miriam Nicole won qualifying here. She's got the leader's jersey on her back. And for me now, she moves into the position of favourite for that overall title. We go to the top already then. Massive crash! Oh! Oh, nasty, nasty looking crash from Michaela Parton. Good to see her sat up. Hitting these turns hard up here then. Nina Hoffman by going fast, nearly a second up. Nina Hoffman takes the lead. Marine Cabrero really in the uh, heat of battle for the overall World Cup and looks to be super fast. And he's seven seconds up. Wow, it's massive then from Marine Cabrero. And she goes fastest, 4.31.7, now the time to beat. Now it's Tali Seagrave firing out the start huh? It's going to take a big effort from her down here. It looks like Seagrave has refound her form a little bit now. Tali Seagrave goes second. Tracy Anna has got some horsepower. Cuts inside that left. Three seconds into the red though. Crosses the line, third place. One rider left now at the top. It will be a French winner. Of course it will. That's 2020. So Miriam Nicole, fastest qualifier. Oh, goes big off these jumps. Well, this is it. This is the run that Miriam Nicole has been looking for. Here comes Miriam Nicole. She's going to take the win here in loser. Miriam Nicole does it by 4.3 seconds. Oh, it feels really good, you know, it's a really tough track, so when you win this kind of one, you're like, yes, I've done it. And now it's time for the men's race here in Loser. Aaron Gwynn's starting to look more and more like his old self. Chasing the record of Greg Minard, 20 wins to him, 21 World Cup wins to Minard. Whoa, committed through these turns. Gwyn takes the lead at the moment, 358, 1.55 up. A determined ride from Collange. Cross the line, he goes second. 15 riders left at the top. Danny Hart then, he goes into four, five seconds back. Adam Brayton, riding for Hope Technology. Oh my goodness, wow. A massive over the bars, oh. And Troy Brosnan. What can he do against Darren Gwynn? Fourth place for him, 1.5 back in the end. Aaron Gwynn, though, sitting pretty with nine to go now. Dakota Norton then. It's a 
Good run for Dakota Norton, but Gwyn's is better. Pulls back point A between splits three and four. Dakota Norton, he goes second. Oh, just one hundredth back. Finals, eighth in qualifying, fastest in the steep section. It was fast. No, oh, no, and that wasn't. Loses the front and goes down. Thibaut Duprella then. He goes third. Is Aaron Gwynn going to get back on the podium? Or will it be better? Louis Bruni on track. Incredible at the top already. Around the outside, but then cuts back as well. Oh, less than a second still into the red then. Bruni may be locking a fork out there. I don't know. The e-bike team staff can't keep up with Louis Bruni down here. Next split, and it's green! It's green by 0.6 then! Louis Bruni is gonna go fastest by over a second! Look at the time! The best, the greatest World Cup racer of all time. 21 wins to his name on a track he knows and loves. Been tested here for over a decade, Greg Minar. And when Minar feels like that and feels good, Man, he is almost unstoppable. Beautiful down there. Look how graceful he is, despite going as fast as he does. Can Greg Minar be his own record as the oldest man ever to win a World Cup? Push himself firm into the record books. Still a few riders to come. And I don't think Minar will lose time on the big pedal. His first World Cup race back in 1997 and still he's at the top and still he's green. 1.4 up then at split four. Tucking a little bit there. Oh, he goes massive. Almost flat lands it, such as his speed here. And he squashed it. Minar smashes it. Nearly two seconds. 3.55, that's incredible. We knew it was going to be good. I don't think we expected it to be that good today. How does he do it? 39 years old in this November. Just two riders to stop Minar pushing himself further into the history books. Looks good so far for Matt Walker. Oh, he gets a little wayward there. But he's green by 0.3 of a second then. But Minar was carrying phenomenal pace on this uh, flat section. But he's lost some time, Matt Walker. Goes deep up there. It's not enough to take the lead, but it's good enough for second place for Matt Walker. This man could take another win, would you? I, can't, I think Minar's run is exceptional. Yeah, but you know who's still up top? The winner of the first two World Cup. <laughs> the winner of qualifying here. Greg Minar's teammate, Loris Bergier. Fast up here. Super fast at the top then for Bergier. There's a problem. There There's is. a problem. He looked to me, he went to red. He's got a puncher, he's got a no way. flood no, or a it, rear flat. Greg, Greg, Greg Minar's done it! What? Well, and yes, believe it. Believe it, Greg Minar, you've done it. Unbelievable. 22 World Cups as we watch Loris Berger come down and robbed by a flat front tyre. The World Cup overall now wide, wide open. But it's Greg Minar who's done it. Minar Minar. Oh man, I feel amazing, bro. It's like, you know, it, it was bitter to see Loris Pancho leading the overall. He's now lost the overall and is down to second. But, it, you know, to win that way is kind of tough, but. Man, I just got teary eyes and a lump in my throat sitting there. I just couldn't believe it was happening. Well, it was a marvellous performance by Greg Minar. Mixed fortunes, though, for the Santa Cruz Syndicate. And what that means is that this year's World Cup is now wide open. British rider Matt Walker having a consistent season, second again yesterday. He is now your series leader going into the last race. And it's only 14 points back to Loris Vergier, so he's still right in there as well. And don't forget about Thibaut de Prella, Louis Bruni, and, of course, Greg Minar, who are all in with a fighting chance for this year's overall title. Miriam Nicole has extended her lead in the overall World Cup by taking that win here in loser at race one. Marine Cabaru, though, is in striking distance. And just like in the men's race, it's going to come down to one all-out race run here to find out who will be crowned the 2020 World Cup winner. 
On another note, Tracy Hanna is making her last ever appearance at World Cup races. The defending champion of the series from last year is bowing out of the sport while very much still at the top. You know, she's defined so much in, in downhill and she's been such a, a dominating force for so long. And I've looked up to her ever since I've been racing, so. That's like a sunshine is leaving the World Cup. This is my opinion because she's always smiling. She's always in a good mood and this is what inspires me. And just checking my Tinder. <laughs> what I try to be as well as her. <laughs> Yeah, that's why people love her. They, they see a real person and with real struggles and real triumphs. And yeah, it's, yeah, she's done a very good job. I'm proud of her. The defending World Cup overall winner from last year then. And you know that Tracy Hanna is going to go all out today. Her last ever World Cup race. Her first World Cup win back in 2007, can you believe? Has been at the top so long, this woman. So many crashes in her career, so many injuries. Picked herself up. Will it be a fairy tale ending? Whoa! Whoa, wow! Sorry about that, everybody. Crashing out there right to the last hurdle. Actually, I was just like, I ah, fuck it, I'm not gonna break anyway. I don't care. I'm just gonna send it. Well, good to see Tracy up. A spectacular end to her World Cup career. That's my style, isn't it? And it's a determined Miriam Nicole coming out of the gate, going for her second overall World Cup title. She needs to go fastest. A win, the only way. Well, even that won't guarantee her taking the overall. Nicole on a massive run here, but she's carrying great speed. She looks fast to me down here, Claudio. It's tidy. So here comes Miriam Nicole. She's going to take the lead. Will it be enough to see her take the overall? She goes fastest, 4.28 now the time to beat. Nina Hoffman in a start hut. It's an aggressive ride for her, it might as well be. It's the last turn of the pedals this year. Nothing to save yourself for. Absolutely all out then from Hoffman. Whoa! Whoa. Nina Hoffman sending it big. She's going to smash the time of Miriam Nicole. She goes fastest. 4.25 now the time to beat. Nervous times for Miriam Nicole. Because next up, it is the woman that can stop her winning this year's overall World Cup. Marine Cabarou, the young French woman. Good lights through there. Looks perfect to me, carrying good speed as well. 1.3 up on Nina Hoffman. Fastest through the Mercedes-Benz key section then. So it's a big run for Marine Cabarou just when she needs it. Digging deep, look at it. Cabarou all out. Fourth time run in four days here, remember. Big off the drop, it's full commitment from Marie Cabrou. She goes fastest. 1.7 up and that's enough to see her crown. Your 2020 overall World Cup winner. She's done it, finally, Marine Cabrou. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. First today, wins overall is just totally crazy, yeah? I have a good run, a bit aggressive, so I do some mistakes, but I stay focused, push until the finish, the finish line, and yeah, it's just so, so crazy. A bit more pressure, but I just stay focused on the race, don't, don't think about the overall, and just uh, enjoy my bike and enjoy my ride, and yeah. I don't have a lot of pressure. I'm sitting in third tied with Louis. I'm just, all I can do is ride down the hill as fast as I can, and that's my plan, so. The pressure is gone, like, I just lost everything, so it's just now you have to fight back, and I will definitely be charging for another win. Now I'm gonna go kind of all or nothing. For sure, I'll, I'll throw the kitchen sink at it, and uh, what will be will be, as I say. Jamie Edmondson leading at the moment then. This 19-year-old uh, from Scotland. Sensational short season for him. And another good ride here, a 3.56 for him. And this next man that you're saying is this man here, Thibaut Daprela. Fast down into there. Third place, less than a second off. Angel Suarez then riding for the YT mob now. Came into this season with good form. Oh, goes massive. Well, Greg Minar-esque. There's rain on his lens. There is rain on Suarez's lens. 
we do know, Claudio, about this place is that any rain will turn it into an ice skating rink. Yeah, the rain blew it, to be honest. I was so scared at the top. I was like, damn, like, again, 2020 is really living up to the expectations of shit. And here is one of the men going for the overall title today then, from the Santa Cruz Syndicate. Lorish Vergier, a flat tyre on Friday. Edmonton's time goes by, Claudio. By quite a lot, 2.5 seconds then. He's outside the top 15 as things stand. This is Talon Claudio. Where's Loris Vergier going to cross the line then? 14th place for him. Wow. And he knows, I think he knows that might not be enough today. But let's focus on Troy Brosnan now. This is an attacking run from him. He goes third point. Three nine back only. It is still possible and we have the three fastest rider out of qualifying still up top. Matt Walker. The World Cup series leader then. An incredibly mature rider this man. As he is going to be tight. I think it is. Is it going to be green? It's green. It's green by 0.8 of a second. The first rider in a long time. To light the timing boards up green. It's going to be close, you know. He's going to have to work hard here. And this sprint, it's literally for the overall World Cup. If he crosses the line first, then he can't be beaten. And just 0.17 to play with. Here he comes in. Matt Walker comes down the line. 3.56 to beat. It's going to be close. Matt Walker does it. Matt Walker is your 2020 overall World Cup winner. Well, wow, he's done it. There is still the small matter of this race to be decided. But Matt Walker has taken the title with an incredible run against all the odds. How confident can you ride at this age? It's incredible, it's incredible. Like I've worked so, so hard and uh, coming off a, a difficult season last year, there were some doubts for sure. And uh, to come back eight months later and uh, not been out of the top five all year and to win the overall is, um, as I say, it's a dream. I can't put it into words at the minute. I'm just, uh, I don't know whether to laugh or cry or what to do. So uh, it's going to take some uh, some moments to get over this one for sure. Well, it's all out now for these two. Greg Minar, the winner of 22 World Cup races. What's he going to do today? The GOAT is on track. Oh, pulling tear offs in the air then, Minar. That Walker's 212. Minar green by 300. Well, all of a sudden, this race is coming alive with these last riders down. Oh, it's extraordinary. And Greg Minar has oodles of it. Maybe running a little wide there. It's all out then from Greg Minar. Ah, oh, point eight up now for the GOAT. The greatest World Cup race that has ever been. Is it going to be World Cup win number 23? Louis Bruni still at the top. Here comes Greg Minar. Look at the time. 1.2 into the green. Another unbelievable ride from the South African. I've got no voice, no, no, no. Bruni now left at the top. I think is probably the most committed rider of today's race because he doesn't have a win yet this year. Oh, 0.29 back then. So just over a quarter of a second for Louis Bruni to find. Is he going to adjust something on his bike here? We saw it on Friday. Does it again. It's a drag race then for the win here today. And Lose goes green in the last split. The defending series champion, oh, sending it out there. Oh, carries huge speed off that hip. Goes massive down there then. Who's gonna get it? Is it gonna be Bruni or is it gonna be Minar? Bruni takes the win. Oh, 0.17 up. Louis Bruni is back. He takes the win here in the last race of the year. Unbelievable, incredible stuff. What a race, what a race. It was really good to battle with Greg because on the first race on Friday, I was really close and really mad at him for beating me. So this time I'm so happy. I sent him back the, the favor and uh, finish the season like that is, is so sick. But it all was about that trophy and it's that man who's taking it back to the UK with him. Matt Walker's done it. Overall World Cup winner.